Hello there, everybody. I wanted to do a video where I would take a look at the CPU and GPU usage of CSGO. And uh, the way I'm doing it is I'm playing the game in a window, which won't have the same frame rate as playing it full screen. And I'm using a hardware monitor uh, to monitor with the graphs there. I got GPU utilization and total CPU usage. I have the game running on threads eight because I have a quad core with hyper threading. And um, I have OBS only using one core to not skew the results all that much. So uh, let's take a look at it. I'll start a new game here. Get that going. I'll do a little bit on Nuke and then a little bit on Dust2. And I'll show you my settings. Well, actually, I don't need to. Everything's on low. Literally everything. I got my CPU overclocked. I think I have a pretty stable... Um, 4.4 gigahertz on my 5775C. And uh, GPU is overclocked too. Got a 390X. 1100 megahertz on the core, 1625 on the memory. So, shouldn't really be much bottleneck, if any, any place here. Let's uh, see how it goes. I don't know what the bots like to do on this map. This two is always predictable when you mess around with it. It's bot matches. I guess they all like going outside. What the hell is that guy doing? What the hell? Uh, I don't like playing with the... Video off to the side. It feels weird. Okay, what they plant? I think I heard him. What are you doing sneaking? Are they? I don't. I don't know what's going on. Where is he? Anyway, so what's it looking like? With eight threads, it seems to be doing its thing. Not really 100%. Pretty much this is why I set it to threads four, and then I set it to use um, CPU, CPU zero, two, four, and six. This is just using like 50%. I let it use more. And it doesn't need it. And you can see every once in a while my GPU spikes up. I hear people complaining all the time about they're worried this game isn't using enough of the resources. And it used to be wise. I uh, would recommend uh, just raise your settings if it's not using. If you if you want more utilization, make it utilize more. Put some anti-aliasing on. Use a higher resolution. Do something. But fourteen uh, forty by ten eighty in a window seems to be handling itself. Just open it. Open it, scaredy cat. It's 
So it's pretty, been pretty much 50% CPU usage this entire game. Like I said, OBS is just using one core. So it would only throw it off a tiny bit. So let's switch it to a less, oh, I didn't mean to do that, a less graphically intense uh, map. This time I'll limit my FPS in the menu so it loads a little quicker. So let's go to just two. See, as soon as I limit the FPS, how the GPU utilization goes down to be expected. Okay, now FPS max zero. So I'm not even gonna try to fight. I'm gonna try to get my FPS as high as it can. Just look around a bit. I'm getting like 400. 300 recording takes away from a little bit of it. Now, last time when I was playing in full screen over here, I was getting 800 over here looking this direction. So being in a window does kind of screw with it a bit. This game pretty much loves eating up CPU. It could use four cores. So if you've got a quad core, you're set. I can't see my ammo. You do. Last one's on site. So when you're on dust two, it's not really asking that much from your your GPU there. Now, I'll go one step further here, and let's just see what happens. Get some of that famous looping sound. I just got to move the window over a little bit. Okay, so that worked. Here, let me move the window. There you go. So now everything is the highest setting. I think you guys are good. Here they come long. Watch ramp, damn it. Oh, you got a guy watching sight. Team gonna die. Like I ate it. What save? Oh no. It's 
So once you max out the settings, I'm pretty sure shadows are calculated by the CPU. And you know, anti-aliasing and everything else gets GPU bound. Is a secret. There we go. And the FPS seems a little higher. I don't know. Those dirty hands. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting. If you're not getting CPU and GPU utilization, then maybe something's just wrong with your computer. And yeah, this pretty much concludes the video. I didn't do anything funky with my settings. I usually use Process Lasso to uh, automatically set CPUs every time I launch the game. Just a little curiosity and here's some results. See you guys.